Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going for another attempt for the speed rush. The last one, I really just tried to make it go as fast as I can using cards that I knew were going to be strong up against the event. We're going to go the same exact route, I'm using my extreme team now, I'm using my optimal extreme team, in my opinion anyway. Buon I know is not optimal for the team, but he does uh, he does heal, which is super efficient, I need to make sure I have that healing. Uh, Broly we're going to put at the end over here, because Broly is, yeah, okay, perfect. So the reason why I put Broly on the end is because I want him to link with the Rosé. Uh, that Rosé is going to do him really well because he gives the key plus three for him and they link really well to prepare for, for battle and everything. So he is also not going to get off his super attack so it doesn't matter if I don't give him a lot of key orbs. Alright, cool. Um, I also want to make sure that Merged Masu wasn't there because Vegeta is intelligence and the Merged Masu is technique. So I don't want him there because he will do a lot of damage. Cool. So he... He did a lot of good damage to the Goku. Look at that, they did almost no damage to him. So, yeah, I'm going to be releasing this Sunday morning. Uh, in terms of the video that I'm going to be releasing, uh, that you probably already saw, that should be going up. I'm actually uploading it as we speak. It's currently like 2 p.m. on Saturday, July 1st, so that video should be up. That you should be seeing that I really screwed up. <laughs> Um, Alright, yeah, we want my friend to always be on rotation because he sucks. We just want him for the key support, essentially. And, yeah, we don't need a lot there. And, there. So, I don't know, we got whatever. So, while that's up... There we go. We'll go ahead and take on this event. Yeah, I wasn't really planning on losing that one. I thought I was actually going to make it through. I just got a little cocky there because I'm so used to having some really good teams and whatnot. But, you know, let's just go ahead and whoop this, these guys butts with my <laughs> with my optimal my really good villains team huh we don't want to link well the pinto those two link really well yeah we're gonna keep those two together there we go perfect that's how we're gonna set it up all right oh wait that sucks <laughs> i just realized that omega won't get uh, a super attack ball oh well there we go and i think i'm gonna need my buhan healing this turn this turn I think that my go that, that Vegito is gonna oh no no super attack huh? Now the reason why he's tanking, not only because of that defense, uh, not, uh, the the damage reduction, but I have a lot a lot of Dupad fed into him. I think I have three Dupads unlocked of my Omega right now, so I think I fed in a lot. He's not like a hundred percent or anything like that. I don't even think he's over sixty, but he has a decent amount. I got a lot of uh, damage reduction on him. All right, who do I want? To do? Okay, so these two are gonna stay together. Which one of these two have better defense? Okay. So Broly will now, he won't have the best defense after a super attack goes off. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do that. And then heal. Heal, I say, heal. I don't know, almost up to 100,000 base. Nice. Actually, Rose will probably kill this guy. I don't know. We'll see what happens if he can heal Vegito base for him. That, that'd be befitting of him, huh? <laughs> yep, there you go. Nice revenge. What's wrong? That'd be cool if Rose killed him again when he's in his Super Vegito form. Cool. So we don't want... Yeah, this is what we're going to do now. Put him over here for the defensive purposes. And then we'll him. And then... Oh, yeah, that's right. Super Fierce Battle. He's going to die really quickly. Ah, cool. There's that. So, yeah, I have a couple of videos that I'm thinking about doing for this week. Um... Let's see, which ones that I want to do? Well, one, I want to do the rankings of all the 120 leaders. I think that one's going to be really good. I think I'm going to do two separate lists for it as well. I think I'm going to have one list for the hardest hitting, just because I know there's a lot of people who want to make sure, you know, because they, they, they think the best is the hardest hitting units. Um, and then I'm going to do one for overall good units. Um, I think I already know who I want for my number one choice for overall. Uh, hardest hitting, I don't know, because it, it's... I'm going to have to give an average situation, because some of them give, like, you know, key orb. Uh, attack additional attack. You can't just go based off of the max that he can do. That a unit can do. We gotta go based off the average. I think the average is like six orbs. So it's gonna be a difficult, difficult choice. And we're gonna want him here because he gets that. And Broly. Right. Broly's not gonna do a lot of damage. And that merged muscle will at least you know, have a guard up against the Super Vegeta. So yeah, that's going to be my ranking video. And then I was also thinking about doing another video uh, about what if the uh, 
<laughs> what if Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 4s, are not here? Uh, what the next banner would be if they did the Gogeta and Janemba for the two-year anniversary? <laughs> I don't know how you all would feel about that, but I think that would be kind of hilarious. But, hmm, which one do I want to go? I'm going to go back to the Vegeta path again. I need to get some retribution on this. Take out the Vegeta real quick. Alright, there's that. I'm also, right now, I'm going onto my computer, and I'm getting my template set up for my failed speed run. There we go. Hmm. Hope we want that Janemba there. We don't though, actually I'm not going to do that. Actually I will do that. I will do that. Because it doesn't really matter. He's not going to do a lot of damage this round. Because he's just his base form Vegeta. Right. That. And hopefully we get him knocked out. Uh, uploading 50%. You know, the thing that stinks, the reason why I don't do a lot of gameplay videos, which this week, this weekend is going to have a lot of gameplay videos up. It, the reasoning, though, is because it takes so long to render. Me recording one game to render will take about an hour and a half to two hours of rendering time in 720p. That's why you don't see any of my gaming, well, a lot of my gaming ones, or actually a lot of my videos in 1080. Once you try to do 1080, uh, a still frame one that I typically do for my event analysis, that will last about an hour in... in review time just because my hardware is such garbage. Now, if I was to upgrade, I would probably be able to do a little bit better, but I'm not upgrading anytime soon. There. Orbs there. So we won't want those intelligence orbs just to get out of the way because I'm not going to use them. Even though I have the Janemba and the Super Boo for intelligence. They're fun. Now, I don't know about all of you. I don't know how you feel about the dupe system. I still need to do a, a video on that, an overview of that. Now, I, I know the intelligence get by default to get an additional, I think, five for dodge. Now, I used my Janemba to give him a whole bunch of crits. I wanted him to deal more damage because he was already a defender. But I know a lot of people were like, no, you should give the intelligence units, especially the ones that defend really well, uh, dodge because that, that's what they're inherently made to do. My argument there is, if they're inherently meant to dodge, and they're already getting that dodge trait and ability, and like a Janemba who already automatically gets a, um, is already debuffing to a point, well debuffing the enemy's attacks to a point where he's not taking a lot of damage, why put additional on it? I mean, I get it, play to the strengths, but you don't need to play to the strengths on the, on the game. You know, my, my thing is, I would rather him hit a little bit harder to deal a little bit additional damage. Unfortunately, do I have... Yeah, I didn't bring the key. Oh well. Alright, well, debuff them. Debuff them, debuff them. That's right, Super Boo. Boo Han. At least he's debuffed. Not that much, though. When he does the Kamehameha, he does greatly reduce his attack and defense. But look at that. You already... Look at that. There, there's almost no damage on him. Even when a super attack's done, it's only a couple thousand. Except for Broly. Broly's defense went down to zero. <laughs> Alright. Yep, now he gets more. And we're right here. And we're gonna hit him more so he can hopefully get some health up in here. And ooh, perfect. Now I should get the Dokun. Yep, perfect. I got the Dokun going off. We'll be good now. Now the only reason why I wanted it here is even though I didn't need it against this Vegeta, I want that health heal. And because I get it, I should there we go, all of them to the Z. Uh, I should be able to uh, one-shot him in that, in that uh, with this attack. I, I don't know, you know, I still don't know to this day, I haven't looked it up, I'm sure this has been found out already. When I first started playing, I tried to look it up. How much do you heal? How much defense do you get? And um, how much your attack increases when you do this? It's like 1.2 million damage. I think that even, that's not unreasonable, but I know it increases your attack and gives you health regeneration when you're done. But let's go take a look at my health. Yeah, so look at that. My health is definitely regenerating. I wonder what that actually is. Again, I haven't looked it up. So if you if you want to let me know, let me know. Um, I'm not sure, though. We're going to do this. One, two, three, four. Now there's there. And... You know what we're going to do? We're going to get a bomb up in here. To make this go along a little bit quicker. There we go. No, he should be good as long as he doesn't super attack the first time. Perfect. Let him super attack the Janemba just to get it out of his system. 
And, oh damn, the Vice Shout. Why couldn't he done the Kamehameha? Ooh, a crit. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, my Buhan. Maybe Jitnumba can get a uh, crit also. No, no crit. Got him a lot of crits, though, I'll tell you that. Come on, super hot son of a. Eh? God damn it. There we go. Nice. Ooh, an additional super attack. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's right, Rose. You get your damage in on him. But you don't know what's going to hit him. Alright, cool. So, actually, that works out really well because Broly's defense before he launches a super attack is pretty damn decent at 26,000. We have nothing to worry about there. Maybe we'll get some good HP regeneration on that one, and then there's that. So, let's see what happens. Oh, of course, Vegeta goes and does a super attack there. 72,000. Mm hmm. Whatever. Probably will take him out now, though. The speed run battle. Alright. Done, done, done. I'm, I'm typing out the title. I'm actually going to be posting this right now. <laughs> Okay, five, get the six, and then we're gonna take on Omega. The thing that sucks about Omega, I didn't bring any GT characters, and it's gonna be really hard to do damage against him. All right. Oh no, I lied. I do have one GT character. Fortunately, the link won't activate, and I want to. Let's see what I can do here. Am I going to be able to... Okay, cool. I'll get it off the super attack, and I'll get some healing in. And perfect. All right, cool. So even if he does a super attack, I'll be fine. Look at that. Only 100 damage. Ah, oh, love it. God damn, why can't I just get the Kamehameha one to do reduced damage? Uh, Alright, cool. Come on, get another crit. Come on, get another crit. You know you want it, baby. Mm, no crit. God dang. Oh well. At least I got that damage reduction there. So, what am I going to do now? Okay, cool. You know, oh. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Oh, cool, because that way I can actually get my Brawly to launch his uh, Ultra. Ultra Super Attack. And then we're going to do that. That should be good. I don't think I'm going to have any... Uh, damages here. They're going to be out of control. Unless he super attacks me. But I think that I should be good. I think this Rose will either kill him. If this Rose doesn't kill him, Pearl, it will definitely kill him. Nice. Nice. Alright, Pearl. You got this, bro. You got this, bro. Nice. Alright, cool. Final stage. Final stage. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mm. What we're gonna, actually, what we're gonna, let me see what we got here. Three, four, five. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get five. Let's see how much we heal for. Mm, not much. Yeah, we're gonna throw an Icarus up on here. And we're gonna throw, well, we're gonna wait on the Balma, actually, because I'm not gonna get any super attacks off that ball here. So. Next round, I'll throw on that bomb. So that way I can actually utilize the attack bomb. Really wish I had a three time speed multiplier on this thing. Any additionals on him? Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Let me get a crit. Ooh, no crit, but all right, I'm cool with that. So I have all four dupes on my Janemba unlocked. I'm thinking about 100%ing it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to 100% hit. 53,000. Alright, cool. Well, now it's going to be time... Oh, perfect. Oh, by the way, so if whoever's watching, if you don't know, see how, like, I can't move my um, Omega? If you guys just don't know about this, all you do is you use the Sensu Beam or that herb. I know a lot of you probably look at that herb like, what the hell is that used for? That herb, the one that changes the status of ailments on you, will allow you to switch your characters along with the Sensu Beam. So, just wanted to put that out there in case none of you were aware of that. That will help you out a lot. Okay, cool. 
Oh, we get oh perfect. Five. You won't let me before I forget. Balma. Oh, it's starting to rain outside. Now I don't feel about not, I don't now I don't feel bad about not doing anything so far today. Then again, I only woke up a couple hours ago. Alright, cool. There we go with my rose. And the new Dragon Ball Super episode comes out tonight. You know, there's a lot of theories going on about there. I was actually just watching one of Moscow X's videos uh, talking about what his theories are for what's going to happen during the World Tournament. Personally, I think it's going to be like something along the lines of his second or first or second thought. Personally, um, I think it's going to be one of those things where Goku comes out the winner, as always, and it's either going to be one of two wishes. One, after Xeno destroys everything, he's going to wish that all the universes weren't destroyed, or he wishes, or he'll wish that Xeno never destroyed, that the, the Xeno doesn't destroy the universes. Either to make them better, so it's technically three wishes, to make the universes better so that way he doesn't have to destroy them. Or, I think that he may, which would reset everything and kill the series, which I don't think that Toriyama's going to do. Um, he may, may, say, I, th I wish that uh, he never, that I never met, or that Beerus slept through his alarm clock. That would undo everything. That would make it so that, come on, give me Kamehameha. Oh, another vice shout for just a small debuff. Oh. That would make it so that way Z uh, Beerus never woke up, he never found Goku, Goku never found out about the God Ceremony, and the whole thing with Battle of Gods would have never happened. Then again, Frieza would have come back, and I would ne wouldn't have undone that, so, hmm. Uh, I guess I wasn't thinking about that, I wasn't taking that into consideration. Look at that, 27,000 on the final stage boss, and a dodge. Why couldn't you have dodged when he did the super attack? God damn it. Come on, Janemba. If I had GT links in here, this would be so much quicker. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to do this just to be safe. I'd rather play it safe. I'm only going to do this once anyway, so... I'm not really going for timing on this, I'm just gonna do I'm just doing it once just so I could actually clear it. And then if for some reason my Broly I mean if my uh, Super Saiyan Rose doesn't clear this, my Broly definitely will. Wow, I didn't even realize I'm up onto about 17 minutes here. Yeah, my my rose is gonna kill him. We will see. There we go. Sweet, let's see what my, what my time is. Alright, yeah, yeah, I don't care, I don't care. Come on. I want to see my timing. Cleared stage super two. Alright. 17 minutes and 33 seconds, guys. It's my first time clear. With this team, items used. Wow, it also I didn't realize that it actually told you what items you actually used here. That's freaking sick. I didn't need to use that last Icarus at all. Um, probably shouldn't have used it because I just wasted one. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's cool. Hell yeah. Let me know what your timings were for this event. You probably, if you haven't already commented there, comment again if you ran it again. If not, let me know. But thanks, guys. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll probably be doing my boss rushes at some point. So either today I'll probably be doing one, and then. I don't think I'm going to do the full hour event recording. I'll probably do the second half. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night.